Hello everyone. Welcome to yoga class for today. Today we're going to focus on getting our joints really happy by focusing on mobility. We're also going to invite in strengthening and stretching and balance work and core work. So we have a lot of fun things coming our way. Before we start with the movement part of our practice, please make sure that you have the props that you'll need for this particular class. You'll need a yoga mat or safe space to practice on. Think about how it would feel good for you to do these postures from a seated, standing, and reclined positioning of the body. You'll need two blocks and you'll also need a yoga strap. If you do not have a yoga strap, that's no problem at all. You can look around other parts of um, your house and see if maybe you have a scarf or a belt or even a towel would be great. So the strap is going to help us get a longer reach if we need to in some of the shapes and options that we're going to take today. Now, before we take those shapes, let's just find a comfortable seated position so we can transition from the first part of our day into our practice. Make sure that you feel your seat grounded, feeling connected, and at the same time, reach the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. So you're working on lengthening the spine. Position your legs in a way that's comfortable for you. I know that sometimes bending the knees can feel really limiting because we're closing the angle there at the knees. So if you've got some knee issues, then you might be more comfortable just extending the legs and letting them be in front of you. Take a moment, play around and see with which one of those options is really serving you in your seat today. And once you find that, just close your eyes. Bring your gaze inward. Notice your breath. Take a deep inhalation. And when you're ready to exhale, open your mouth, take a sigh of relief. And again, inhale all the way to the top of the breath. Exhale, let it go. And again. Now you can continue to breathe in that way. Or you can inhale and exhale through the nostrils, but practice lengthening. With each round of breath, practice slowing. Breathing with intention. Offering ourselves this time of down regulating. Know that when you slow the breath, you calm the nervous system. Offering yourself the reduction of stress and anxiety. And giving yourself this time to come into your practice. As you come into your practice today, just let yourself move forward with the intention of moving joyfully, feeling gratitude for having this physical body that allows us to move. Enjoy what you can achieve today and don't worry about what doesn't feel accessible. Just enjoy the experience and be here now. Gently start to flutter the eyes open. Coming back into the space. At this point, we'll start to incorporate some props. So go ahead and get your two blocks if you have them. If you don't have blocks, maybe you can practice with something light, maybe little pillows or some books that aren't too heavy. 
but know that this prop you're going to be holding into your hand. Okay, so you want to pick, if you don't have a foam block, you're going to want to pick a prop that's not too heavy so that if it falls, it's no big deal and you won't get hurt. So we'll position the block in one hand. Let the other hand just gently rest on the same side thigh and then bring your hand out. Keep your elbow in towards your body. Now we're going to practice sending the hand away so that we straighten it and then we'll bring it in. And then we straighten, bend the elbow, bring it in. Great, let's do that one more time. Bring it in. Now this time we're gonna add on, we're gonna send the arm out and then we're gonna lift it up. Bring the wrist in line with the shoulder, out, and then do the same, but up. And again, we're just repeating inviting in some gentle mobility. Let's take a couple more. The next time the arm comes out, bend the elbow, bring it in. And now let's just take the block over to the other hand. So we'll set it up in the same way. The elbow is hugging into the side body. First, we're just gonna work on sending the block away, straightening the arm, and then re-bending the elbow. And we'll take that two more times. Now, this is where we're going to build and add on. So first we send the block away and then we're going to lift it up, balancing the block in the hand, send it back out, bend the elbow, bring it in. Let's try that again. Move at your pace. If you drop your block, don't worry. It's just a block. It's just a movement. We can pick it back up and get right back into it. We'll take a couple more. Enjoy the feeling and the sensation in this part of your body. Last one. Bring the wrist and the hand back out. Bring the elbow in. Pass that block into the first hand. Now let's grab the second block. Now we're going to practice doing both sides at the same time. Let yourself have fun. It's no big deal if you drop one block or both. Just try the movement. Start with the elbows bent, fingers are away from the body. Straighten the arms, bringing the wrist in line with the shoulders and then see what happens when you fly the arms up. Open the arms back out, bring the elbows in. Let's try that again. Couple more. You've got this. Just one more. Move slower if you need help with control. Great, now your arms are out, bring them forward. Let's add on. Open back out, lift up. Open out, bring the blocks forward. And again, open them out, lift them up. Exhale, take them down. Bring the blocks forward. Feel the shoulders. Feel the arms strengthening. Last full round. Bring the blocks in front. Bend your elbows. Bring the hands in. And let's just set the blocks out to the side for now. Okay, let's let the hands rest onto the thighs. And let's just take some circles, but we're making half circles. 
So we're bringing one ear to the same side shoulder, then we tuck the chin towards the chest, and then the opposite ear comes over to the other side. So we're moving left to right, right to left, releasing any tension from the neck space. Continue to take a few more. Left to right, right to left, keep going. Slow the movement. Bring the chin towards the chest, lift the head, gaze forward. All right, so while you were finishing that movement up, I went and got my glass of water. This is something that we wanna think about during and especially after our practice. We wanna stay hydrated. I know that that's something difficult to think about when we have other options of things to drink, but we really wanna think about getting enough water. That's gonna help us with our energy level. That's one really great benefit to drinking enough water. If you're drinking water during your practice, I recommend taking, so taking sips rather than gulps is going to be more comfortable while you're moving. After class, you can take gulps as much as you want to. To know how much water to drink for your body, take how much you weigh and divide that number in half. So if you weigh 150 pounds, half of that would be 75 you would want to drink a minimum of 75 ounces of water each day, minimum. Now, if you get massage or body work on that particular day, you're going to want to drink more water to flush those toxins out. So just something to think about to have during your practice, your water can be an internal prop for you. Okay, coming back into our movement, let's start to open up the torso. Let those palms ground down to the thighs. Inhale, open your heart, send it forward, shoulders back. Exhale, shoulders forward, bring the chest in. Open the heart, round the spine. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, round the spine. Move with the breath. Let the spine find some mobility. And then bring yourself to center, straight spine, reach the crown of the head up, let the seat ground down just like we started. Now take the arms up on an inhale breath, let the palms meet, let the fingers interlace. Think about the ears between the biceps. Inhale, reach those arms up. And as you exhale, lean over to one side, just enough to feel a stretch in the side body. Keep your seat connected. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, open opposite side. Breathe and feel into this side now. Inhale, center. Exhale, back to the first side. Let's take a few more rounds of breath. Maybe you can open up a little more. Pay attention to your shoulder. Don't go too far. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lean over to the second side. Few rounds of breath here. Get that deep opening 
Next, inhale, find center, move with the breath. Exhale, lean over, opposite side. Inhale, lift to center. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, center. Exhale, release the arms down. Take a full round of breath here. Exhale, let it go. Now let's move into some hip openers. I'm sitting on a blanket, so I'm gonna set that aside so that I can sit straight onto my mat. We're gonna come into Baddha Konasana. So we'll open the feet wide. Feet come together. The feet are together. This is known as bound angle. Also, it's known as butterfly because you can flutter the knees here. So in this externally rotated hip opener, the uh, front of the body, the top of the body, the torso is gonna come forward. Before we do that, we wanna feel how the legs are set up. If you have really open hips and your knees are okay to do this, then you can bring the heels closer into the body. If you bring the heels closer into the body and you feel discomfort at your knees, then you're gonna to wanna to open the angle at the knees and send the feet further in front. Taking the feet as far in front as you wanna go, maybe your feet are somewhere in the middle. Now let's start by taking our thumbs to the arches of our feet. Press your thumbs into the arches, hold the press and just make little circles. You might find an area with tension or knots here in the feet. Now this is common because the feet do so much for us. They take us to so many places and we don't give our feet that much attention back. So this is a really great offering for the feet. Maybe you lift your thumbs and find another place along the arch of the foot that's got some tension and you can press and circle into that area and let some of that tension go. We can also achieve this by rolling our foot on a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball. So anytime your feet are feeling crampy or achy, just give yourself some love with this self massage. All right, now we'll bring our hands to stillness so we can keep the thumbs at the arches of the feet. Some people prefer to wrap the fingers around the toes. Inhale, lift the crown of the head up. And as you exhale, lean your heart forward. Think about bringing your belly button towards your feet. You might even use your forearms to rest onto your low legs. The more you fold, the more you'll be able to incorporate your back into this stretch. You should be feeling a stretch at the inner thighs. And remember, if your knees are uncomfortable, send the feet further in front. Give yourself permission to readjust anytime you need to. This is your body, so you really want to serve it, honor it, and listen to where that edge is. Now practice with each exhalation folding a little deeper. If you're feeling really flexible today, your forearms might come onto the ground, and now your head might come towards your feet. We'll take a few more rounds of breath here. Come back to lengthening the breath. Inhaling as deeply as possible. And exhaling slowly. On your next inhale breath, lift your head. And continue to lift the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Take a full round of breath here. Now we're gonna switch up the leg positioning. So now we have the knees splayed out. We're gonna take the hands to the outside of the thighs. And we're gonna bring the legs together. I'm just gonna turn so that you can see the shape of my body. You can stay as you are, however is comfortable. Now, I'm sitting upright. Rather than leaning back and letting my back sag, I'm focused on sitting upright, just as we were before. 
my seat is grounded down, the crown of my head is rising up, my knees are bent, knees are towards the ceiling, soles of the feet are to the mat. We're gonna take a seated figure four. Now, we'll take our hands behind our back and we can lean into our arms. So you can think about bringing the heels of your hands closer towards your glutes. You might feel more comfortable if you rotate your fingers towards your hips. Try both of those, see what's working for you. And then once you have that kickstand variation that you like, continue to think about keeping that straight back. Now we're gonna lift one foot and cross it to the opposite side. You might wanna start by widening the distance between the feet and the glutes. We'll start by lifting whichever foot you'd like. You might use your hand to guide the ankle above the opposite knee. Now you don't want your ankle directly on your knee because you don't want bone on bone. That's gonna be uncomfortable and unsafe. We don't wanna hurt ourselves. So bring your ankle just above the knee onto the thigh area. Now supporting your back with your kickstand arms, you might already feel a stretch in your hip. If you don't feel a deep enough stretch, then you can bring your grounded foot towards your body. So you're sliding your heel towards your glute. Now the more I slide my heel towards my glute, the more I can feel the stretch deepening in the opposite hip. Another way that you can deepen the stretch is to send your chest towards your legs. Figure four is a posture that we can do reclined, laying on our backs. It's also a posture that we can do in a standing balance. Today we're trying it seated. We'll take a few more rounds of breath. And then we'll just shimmy that foot away so that we can create space to remove the foot that's on top. Once both soles of the feet meet the mat, take a full round of breath. Exhale, let it go. Now let's bring the opposite foot, ankle to the thigh, set it up. This hip might be totally different. We might need to start with the foot further out. This side might be more open. We might be able to slide the heel closer. Just see what's going on on this side and continue to slide your grounded foot closer towards the glute, enough to feel the stretch at the opposite hip. Continue to lift the crown of your head up and then send your chest towards your thighs. Breathe into the stretch. If at any point when you're trying this posture, this is uncomfortable to hold yourself up in a, a seated position, you can start by bringing your back up to the wall. That way you don't have to worry about holding up your upper body. A couple more rounds of breath. With each exhale, let it go. Now slide the foot away, unwind the leg, straighten both legs. Look at your feet, make sure there's space between the feet. Now you can release your kickstand arms and just shake out the wrist. Just release any tension from the wrist. Shake them out, shake them out, let the tension go. Feel the arms moving around, using the space around you. And then let the arms come down. Now let's find our strap that we talked about at the beginning of our practice when we were talking about the props that we're gonna need. Remember, if you don't have a yoga strap, don't worry. You don't have to go out and buy one. Use a scarf, use a belt, use a towel, whatever you have that you can grab in your home space. And once you have your prop, look at your feet. Lean forward, 
Take this strap around the arches of the feet and then take one hand to each side of the strap. Legs are straight, feet are flexed. Inhale, lift the crown of your head up. As you exhale, bend your elbows, lean forward. The strap helps to close the gap between your hands and your feet. Some of you might be able to reach your hands further towards your feet if your hamstrings are more flexible. So play around with that. Some of you might even be able to grab your own feet. Take whatever propping you need. Use the strap at first so that you're not pushing yourself too far in the beginning. Allow yourself to ease into this stretch. Two more rounds of breath. Now let's release the strap. We're gonna come back to it later. For now, set it aside. Inhale, rise up. Now we're gonna transition from seated to standing. Find your way there, however you wanna come into it. I'm gonna come into it by bringing my feet to one side, and then I'll come into a tabletop position. You can use the support of a chair or a bench if that's better for you. If you're in the kneeling position, you can come up to down dog and then walk your feet towards your hands. It's forward fold. From forward fold, bend your knees. From the standing position, checking our alignment. Let's open the feet to hip distance. As we open the feet to hip distance, we can lift the toes and maybe we rock towards the toes and then rock towards the heels. Just a micro movement. It doesn't have to be anything big or exaggerated. Just letting ourselves feel the foundation of our feet rooted down into the mat. Now, if you're like me and you have a tendency to lock the knees out, this is gonna have compression in your low back. That's uncomfortable. Take a micro bend in the knees and then think about pulling your belly button towards your spine as if your tailbone is moving down. That's gonna be a little more comfortable. So let's try that. From here, inhale the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, take the shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back and down. Continue to move with the breath. A few more. Back to shoulder mobility. The shoulders melt away from the ears. Stay in your standing position, feet hip distance. Let's get some mobility. So let's take circles with our wrists, circling around and then opposite direction. And then just let the arms float down. Now from here, start to draw little circles with your hips. Feel really grounded in your feet as you draw these circles. Now if you feel perfectly stable here and you want to take bigger circles, then just step one foot further out, a little more distance. Now the feet are wider than hip distance, circle around. Circles can be small, or you can make the circles bigger, sending the hips back. If you're circling around bigger, then you'll feel a stretch at the hamstrings. Let your arms go where they naturally want to. Decide if you want to step it further out, really making bigger circles now. Wide legs. And then circle around opposite direction. Hip joints are happy, getting this mobility, this movement, this attention. The muscles in the legs are also happy to release 
tension. All right, now we're gonna try something. Bring the feet to a point where they're wide, but you feel really stable in your stance. You can take your hands to your hips if you want to, to guide yourself. Soften the knees. We're gonna practice drawing a figure eight that is side lying. So think of the infinity symbol. Now, draw the infinity symbol with your hips. And then try to switch it up opposite direction. I know that can be challenging. Let your legs work. Feel the quad strengthening as you do this. So we're working with the joints, but we're strengthening the quads. All right, bring it back to center. Find your straight legs. Heel toe the feet in towards the body, underneath the hips. Back to hip distance with the feet. Continuing with our hip mobility. Hands are at the hips. We're gonna balance now. Don't worry if you feel off or iffy about your balance. Simply step over to a wall space. You only need enough space to put one hand. So look around in your space and see where that might be if you need support as you lift one leg, okay? If you feel like you don't really need the wall today, cool, then you can be into the free space. So hands are at the hips. Just one leg is gonna lift at a time. As we lift one leg, we'll bring the knee in line with the hip. Opposite foot is grounded. Exhale, just tap the big toe down. Inhale, lift the knee up. Exhale, tap the toe down. One more time. Inhale, lift the knee up. Exhale, tap it down. Let's add on. Inhale, lift the knee. Exhale, open it. External rotation. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, tap it down. We've got two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, open. Bring it in. Tap it down. Last one. Now, as you bring your big toe down, bring all five toes down. Keep the heel lifted. Draw circles with your heel. And then draw circles opposite direction. All right, let's let that foot ground down. Shift the weight now into this leg. Start to lift the opposite foot. Inhale, knee in line with the hip. Exhale, tap the big toe down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, tap it down. One more. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, tap it down. Let's add on. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, open. External rotation. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, tap it down. Remember your wall space if you need it. Inhale, lift. Exhale, open. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, tap it down. Last round. You've got this. Now, let all five toes come down, draw circles with the heel. Take the circles in the opposite direction. And then bring the foot down. Now we're gonna include our strap back into our practice. Now we're gonna work with the strap from a standing position. Find that hip distance and take the strap into the hands. Let the strap come down to the floor so that you can bring one foot onto it. Now take both ends of the strap into the same side hand. Opposite hand comes to the hip. Now we are going to try balance work with the strap. If you're working with the wall space, you're gonna bring the opposite hand, the one that's not holding the strap, up to a wall or hold on to a chair, okay? Now, inhale, let's bend that knee just like we did before, but as we exhale, let's practice kicking that leg straight forward. Then bring the knee in and take it down. All right, so I'm going to show you what it looks like from the opposite angle. Try it again. Inhale, lift the knee up. 
and then exhale, press the leg straight. Leg doesn't have to go all the way straight. Bring it in. Now, whichever one of those options you like, take that one. I'm gonna give you a third option just in case you don't have to go there. Option one is great, option two is great. Here's option three in case you need more. We lift the knee, we press the foot, and then we open the foot out. Maybe the opposite arm opens out to help that balance. Now, if you're in this position, your hand might reach further onto the strap. Breathe. Exhale, let it go. Practice taking another round of breath. And as you exhale, let your foot come down. Opposite hand grabs onto the strap. Both hands are on the strap. Make sure the strap's not crossed. Lift that foot. Take the strap to the other foot. Bring both ends together. Take the ends of the strap into your hand. We're going to do the same thing other side. So opposite hand can come to your hip, to a wall, or to a chair. Set it up however is safe for you and your body today. I'm going to demonstrate from the free space. First option we're going to try, just lift your knee and then press your foot forward. Okay, bring it down. So again, to see that, I'm going to turn to the opposite side. Inhale is lift the knee. Exhale is press the foot forward. Okay, now we know that we can build onto that if we want to. If you're ready for the external rotation, you can inhale, lift your knee, exhale, straighten the foot, and then play around with opening the foot out. You don't have to go here, this is just an option. Your hand can reach further onto the strap, your opposite hand can come to a wall space, or simply be in the free space. If you're wobbling like me, no problem, just breathe. Let yourself explore this side. Exhale, bring it down. Take a full round of breath. Exhale, let it go. All right, we're gonna let the strap go. And we're gonna do a movement without the strap. So let's bring our feet together now. So the big toes meet. Feel rooted and grounded here before we move. Arms are by your sides. From here, let's take our hands to our hips. Now, we're gonna move just one foot out and then in. Out and then in. Activating the hip, strengthening the glute. Let's see if we can take a couple more. Remember, you've got the wall space if you need support. Bring the feet together. Balance in your standing position. Take a full round of breath. Exhale, let it go. Try the other side. Send the foot out, bring it in. You might even take your hands to your glutes and feel the muscles strengthening. It's really cool, you can feel the activation happening in your body. Let's take a couple more. And then bring it in. Good, let the arms relax. Take a full round of breath. Exhale, let it go. Now we're gonna go from standing back down to the mat. We're gonna continue to work with our body. We're gonna incorporate some core. We're gonna continue to work with the hips and the legs. We'll invite the strap back on. Find your way onto the mat. Maybe you inhale the arms up, exhale, dive forward. Come into a forward fold. From here, you can walk the hands forward, bend the knees, lower the shins to the mat. Swing the feet out to one side, and now come onto your back. As you come onto your back, let your head, shoulders, and your back and your tailbone connect to the mat. Let yourself get grounded. Take a few rounds of breath. Feel the connection in this reclined position. Coming into some core work. Tuck your chin towards your chest to lengthen the back of the neck. 
Lift both feet and bring your legs together as if you have one leg. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, lower the heels down towards the mat without touching the mat. When you're ready to inhale, lift the toes up to the ceiling. And when you're ready to exhale, lower the heels down. Keep your arms grounded. Let your movement follow your breath. Now, notice that the slower you move, the more you're engaging the core. Challenge yourself. See if you can take a couple more. Core work is really important. When we strengthen the front of the body, we take the work out of the back of the body. So a lot of us have back issues. We can balance that out by working on strengthening the core. Last one. Next time the feet come up, bend the knees, let the soles of the feet meet the mat. Take a full round of breath. Exhale, let it go. Reach for your strap. Bend your knee, bring it into the body. Take the strap around your foot and then straighten your foot. The opposite leg can stay with the knee bent. Now walk your hands up the strap and pull your straight leg towards your body. Feel the hamstring stretch. Find the point of deep stretch, but not to the point where you feel pain or major discomfort. Stretching the back of the thigh. Breathe, breathe, breathe. If you feel the leg opening up, maybe you go a little deeper if your body's ready for that. If not, stay where you are. Now keeping your leg lifted, extend your other leg, straighten it, bring it onto the mat, flex that foot, activate it, press that heel to the mat, keep it grounded. Now, whichever leg you have lifted, take the same side arm to hold on to both ends of the strap. Open your opposite arm out to the side. And on your next exhale, open your leg out, just like we did when we were standing. But now we don't have to focus on balance. Now, you might notice the opposite hip lifting. Take the hand to gently rest on the hip as a reminder to stay down. Deep stretch for the inner thigh. Inner thigh is a place where we can release the emotion of anger from our physical body. And this is an emotion that can be present for a lot of us going through all the things that have been happening this year. So give yourself time to let the emotion go. Release, readjust. Breathe. On your next inhale, use your energy. Lift that foot up. See if you can keep the leg straight. Take the opposite hand to the strap. Open the opposite arm. Let it ground down. Slowly bring your foot over to the other side. Now we're coming into a spinal twist. Keep both shoulders down. Feel the stretch at the leg, the hip, and notice any sensation in the back space. It's important to keep both shoulders grounded. On your next inhale, slowly and carefully bring the leg straight up. Take both hands to the strap. Lift your grounded leg, bring your foot into the loop where your other foot is, and then remove the foot that's been up. Bend the knee, let that foot ground down. Keep the knee bent with your hands. Walk your hands up the strap. Now, straighten your lifted leg. 
Once your leg is straight, play around with pulling the leg towards the body. The strap is awesome because we don't have to worry about grabbing our leg or our foot. We can keep really safe alignment. We're just looking for a nice stretch, but not pain or major discomfort. Find that sweet spot. Intensify the stretch if you need to, or back out if your body's telling you. Your body knows. Listen and honor it. Now we're going to lessen the pull, bring the leg to neutral. The foot that you have grounded, extend it, bring the heel down, flex the foot. Keep your hand that's the same side as your lifted foot connected to the strap, open your opposite arm. Take an inhale breath. As you exhale, open your leg, bring it out to the side. The hand that's not on the strap can rest at the front of the opposite hip as a reminder to keep it down. Now we take time to let the inner thigh on this leg stretch, release that tension, let the energetic body readjust. Check in on your breath. On the next inhale breath, lift the leg up, practice keeping it straight. Take the opposite hand to the strap, open the arm, ground it down, and then gently cross the leg over, coming into a spinal twist. Practice keeping both shoulders down. Feel into the leg, the hip, the back. Breathe and hold. On the next inhale, lift the leg up. To come out, bend the knee. Remove the strap, straighten both legs. Let the arms ground down, breathe. Feel your body come in to complete stillness. We have made it to our time of relaxation, our Shavasana pose. This time to integrate the work that we've done. We simply allow ourselves to become present. We can bring our focus back to lengthening the breath. We can also focus on letting the body rest heavy with each exhale breath, really just letting go, letting our physical body sink into the mat, into the ground, into the earth. The physical work is done. Now we just breathe and relax. We know that we're in control of our postures, and our options. So if there's a variation of Shavasana that you would prefer to have, take it. You can position a prop under your knees to support the low back. You can bring the soles of the feet together with the knees splayed out, coming back into that butterfly pose for hip opening. If that's the option that you're taking, I recommend positioning the blocks underneath the thighs. Just so you're not holding tension. 
if you're struggling to connect with your breath, I recommend taking your hands to your belly. Palms down. Inhale, feel the belly rise. Exhale, feel the belly soften. Deep breaths. Focusing on breathing with intention. As you inhale, taking in fresh, clean, new air. And as you exhale, releasing stale, stagnant energy. Breathing with intention. Resting easy. I feel gratitude for this practice. This exploration, not only of your physical body, but of getting to know yourself. Filtering through the thoughts and the emotion. And using the breath as a tool to calm your nervous system. Inhale deeply, exhale slowly. If you feel called to stay here longer, please feel free to do so. If you're ready to close your practice with me today, Know that the light in me sees, honors, and recognizes the light within each and every one of you. I'm deeply honored to have this time to guide you through this beautiful practice. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Namaste.